Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. It is uh, Playthrough Man Channel. Again, I am Rick. We're going to be here for the entire series. This is uh, probably going to take a bit. <laughs> um, this one's going to take a bit. No, no question about that. Uh, we have to go acquire, pick up that are these things that are stuck in the middle of nowhere in the extreme northern part of the, almost the extreme northern part of part of the map. So. We're going to do that. We're going to do that right now. Uh, it's a mission called uh, Missing Machinery. And uh, we're just going to dive, go ahead and dive right back right on in there. So let's go ahead and do that. Sorry for the uh, jumbled intro there. Uh, just changed a few things and that always sets me off. So <laughs> kind, of bear, kind of bear with me on this one. Um, so as you can see, we are at the garage. We are in the Taiga. It's uh, just about eight o'clock in the morning. We have the content or excuse me, tasks already set up. Uh, we just need to activate missing machinery, which we're going to go ahead and do right now. This involves a shipment that was dropped in the middle of nowhere. And uh, unfortunately, we have to go get it. So uh, drilling spare parts times four. And it is in the black area, which is an area we haven't really gone to yet. So we're going to do two things. Well, we're going to do four things, really. <laughs> Five things, really. Um, we're going to go to uh, the uh, spots where these things are dropped. We're going to pick up a watchtower. And then finally, we're going to end up at the factory. Now, I don't think we're going to use the taiga for this. Actually, you know what? No, I'm sorry. We are going to use the Tiger for this. Um, I was trying to decide if uh, I wanted to run the Navistar over to the factory and just use it for this for this mission. But um, thinking it through, let's go with the Tiger. Makes more sense. So we'll just stick with the plan. Stick with the plan, yo. All right. So let's get everything loaded up. The first thing we have to do. Oh, Chuck is having himself a nice little nap there. That's always always good. Why is that lit up? That was weird. Sorry about that. So let's wake Chuck up. Let's get him ready to go. We need to take this into the garage. Two things. Uh, one, we've got to repair any damage. There's really slight damage to the engine from our last run. And we've got to refuel it. But we've also got to refit the back. Uh, the back needs to have a low saddle. And the back also needs to have the crane set up. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, the refuel is, and, the, and the repairs, of course, I'll take take care of it themselves once you pull into the garage but if, as far as adding these add-ons go we need to get those things added on so we, we currently have the sideboard bed attached you can tell that by the little check mark and yeah, just over my head actually um and then we're going to go with the iso or im50 loading crane i always thought that was ims i guess it's im50 hmm um if i move my head out of the way 57 $5,700 for that thing. So we'll go ahead and purchase that. We also need to have the low saddle because we're going to pick up, uh, we're going to pick, we're going to hook, huh, pick up and hook up a uh, semi trailer, semi trailer, semi tractor trailer, whatever. We're going to get a big long trailer, okay? But it requires the low saddle. Luckily, we can have both on our truck at the same time. So we are good to go. I'm not a big fan of this particular mission, but um, got to do what you got to do. So our next stop is going to be the trailer store, which, as you know, is right next to where we pull out of the garage. So that's always convenient. Let's see. Let me back up my camera a little bit. We're going to turn this way. We need to get the long sideboard trailer. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, nope, not that one. That one. All right, well, let's get ourselves figured out here. So to get to there, to get to there from the garage, we kind of have to take this long winding path and uh, it's kind of a pain in the back, but uh, let's see, I think there may be a better way to go. But it's gonna involve driving through the mud and the muck and the gross. Let me zoom in on this. We might act, oh no, because that's kind of treacherous run with the taiga. Hmm. 
I think I know the direction we need to go. So we're going to go across the bridge. We'll go through this mess and then we'll blow out through here. This gets all kind of windy and uh, it'll end up putting us on a road that we can either go left down to the spare parts or we can go right up to the factory. Um, let's just do it. Let's just do it. It's going to be a heck of a drive anyway, so... The Taiga can definitely handle all this weight, so I'm not worried about that one bit. Now, to execute this properly... <laughs> I say properly. To execute this properly, we're going to disconnect the trailer at certain key points so that we can just go up with the truck and then drag the uh, drilling spare parts down to the trailer themselves. If you try to go into some of these areas with the trailer attached, you're going to really wish you hadn't. Alright. Always get hung up in that mud patch. Luckily we don't have to winch though, so that's good. Winch. Winch. I'm never going to get that word right. Oh, why do I always try to sh high shift as I'm making an ascent? Just... Oof. I'll do some dumb things. Alright, anyway, let's move on. Yep, see? I thought maybe I could get away with that again, but... Hmm. The outlook is not good for this. <laughs> I don't know why I have so much tension about this. I've done this run like three or four times. It just makes me crazy. It makes me crazy. Oh, and then shifting. Oh, are you telling me we're high centered now? Mm, all right. Let's pull ourselves off this big old rock we're on, apparently, or over it, or what? Yeah, there it is, right there. Good God. That was a beast of a rock. Holy cow. How about we just avoid the rocks? Good plan. Good plan. This area is pretty muddy. Again, not I'm not concerned about the taiga being um, stuck somewhere. I'm concerned that uh, it gets slowed down because it's already got this trailer and the crane that's adding a lot of weight to it. We are definitely going to want to fuel up here. In fact, I was just thinking, I wonder if it wouldn't be a good idea to also pull in the scout trailer that we dumped a while back. Chew on that food when I have to. I like to leave the scout trailer for this mission and the other one across the blue highway. Um, I was a little short-sighted when I uh, dropped it off yesterday, so in the last episode, yesterday, whatever it was. Might be regretting that. Eh, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, come on. Go, you beast, go. Alright, so on asphalt, it did let us shift in high, so that's good. Oh, not good. Took damage. We're going to take damage on this one anyway, i got a feeling. Um, this is a big truck to try to squeeze into the areas that we're going to try for. And, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Just got a little trepidation. A little concern. A little angst. <laughs> eh. I mean, the worst that, the worst that happens is uh, I restart it. And I start re-recording, you know, I mean, that's the worst that could happen. Or, I just leave it and show the failures too, and I don't mind showing failures, I really don't. What I want to do is show you the best way to do things, well, maybe not even the best way to do things, but a, a, a way to do things, how's that? Oh my goodness, I'm out of control, Charlie, Why? let's drop down to auto. Holy smokes, man. 
Tiger got out of control quick. Okay. Now, we're in the dark area. So let me get a glimpse of things here. I think we still need to continue this way. So we'll do that. We're going to head into some areas with some big old boulders in the road. Way worse than what we're hitting right now. And that's going to make you clench a few times. Definitely going to take some damage there. I always do. They're in the road and they're right next to going, or they're right next to an area where you end up going off the road if you uh, go too far. Um, or into trees and guardrail if you go too far. So, you want to kind of avoid that as best you can. Here's the first section of nasty big old rocks. What I would love to see, I would absolutely love to see a big old front loader. And actually, it just, it just dawned on me, that telehandler might get the job done. I was thinking of using the blade on the front of the front loader. But it, that telehandler looked like it had a blade, too, if I remember right. We have to investigate that. If I can get the telehandler to clear these rocks off this road, that might be another way to do things, too. Because these really are bad. These are horrid. Absolutely horrendous. Looks like we're doing okay on fuel, so that's good. Because we are coming up on the first pickup point. Now... Since we are getting close, I'm going to warn you, I am no crane expert, okay? I was getting pretty good at it when my wife and I played this last, but I am by no means a crane expert, so... You might see a couple of things that I do that you don't want to do yourself, and believe me, that's totally fine. If you have a better way to do it, go for it. Or if you figure out a better way. This is just to give you an idea, you know, like I said. Not, a, not the best way, not the greatest way, but a way. All right, so these boxes are scattered all over the place. So as I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to pull the trailer over to the side here. And we're going to disconnect it. Give myself a little bit more room here. There we go. So we'll disconnect the trailer, detach the trailer. Then we're gonna whip around. As I mentioned, if you go too far off the road, you will be in, in, in the ditch. That is a big, big ditch, man. That's a long way to go down. You can also put a crane on the load start, but what I found with the load start is it loves to try to tip over with the crane on. So, just try to avoid that as best you can. Lock your brake, first off. Then we need to go down to activate anchor. What that's going to do is pop these things out on the side. You see standing straight up. And as always, I've caught the box. Alright, so we'll restore crane. Take the brake off. We'll pull up just... Whoa, dude, what are you doing? Pull up just a bit more. Activate anchor, that should be good now. And then we're going to go into crane mode by hitting the X button. And all of your controls show up at the bottom there. Um, just to show you, my head's not really showing anything, so, or hiding anything. It doesn't really show anything either, but. Um, first thing we need to do is turn the winch or the crane around. And then what I do, what I like to do is drag the uh, connection point right on top of the dot. And then lower with the L1, the crane all the way down on top of the box. So to attach it, you just attach or detach cargo X. 
two points of attachment, the crane and the box, okay? And then now it's just a matter of lifting it up with the R1. And I adjust my camera so I have a side view. We're gonna pull that and drop it right on top of the low saddle. That seems to stabilize it a lot better, okay? So from here, we're gonna exit our control uh, with the circle, readjust our camera, and then we're going to lift our anchors only. Do not restore crane or that box is just going to tumble down the hill, okay? So reactivate anchor. It might get stuck, it might not. Looks like it didn't. Take off the brake and let her roll. This is going to get seriously mucky. Now, you cannot use your winch while your crane is out. But you can use the crane as a winch, which is really weird. But with cargo attached, you really don't want to. I pull up right alongside the trailer. Lock my brake. The crane will not operate while the ooh, sparks while the uh, engine is off. That's why we leave the engine running, and that's why I was concerned about the fuel. I think we're gonna, I think we're doing okay. So now we go back into crane mode. We're gonna lift up until we see the box start to get over the top of the trailer, which it is there now. We will turn the crane. We may have to extend it a bit to do that. Just push up on the right stick. And then we can turn the cargo by using our D-pad left or right. Get it close. And then you can just drop it down into the thing. Now, it doesn't really matter if it's not in there perfectly, okay? You can always adjust it. And try not to tip over your trailer, because God knows I've done that. Let's lift it up a bit. Extend it out a bit. Now, if it's close to where you want it to be, you can always hit the square to lower it down into the thing. But again, it doesn't matter if it's off kilter like that, okay? Um, detach your crane. Why am I going to release winch on that? Then I'm going to go ahead and um, restore the crane. What that does is pull the crane right back to its regular position. Take the parking brake off, get it in driving mode. Gingerly connect back up to the trailer. You might have your load in a precarious position, which is why I say gingerly. We're going to attach the trailer. That fixed it so that the thing dropped down. That was actually quite lucky. Uh, but if it didn't do that, you can just simply hit pack cargo and it'll put it exactly where it needs to be. Then you can detach the trailer and we're going to repeat it all over again for the next box. That's really about as complicated as it gets. It'll take you a minute or two to get familiar with the crane controls and get um, comfortable with them. Um, I play a lot of Farming Simulator 19 and we use um, front end loaders all the time on our tractors and it's a lot like using those I've noticed. Um, some of the mechanics are the same anyway. But if you haven't played that you have no idea what I'm talking about so. <laughs> This one's fairly easy. What we're going to do is just pull up right next to it. It's fairly flat. The flatter the ground, the easier time you're going to have loading your cargo, that's for sure. Which is why I leave the trailer behind and park it on a flat area. So, we'll activate our anchor. It's caught by the box, but that's not going to really affect anything. Go into crane mode. And just repeat the process. Okay, lower it down, and I'm going to extend that boom arm out a bit until I'm right on top of the box, just like that. Attach the X twice, 
And now we can lift. And we can roll it right onto the low saddle. Lock her down. Oops. You'll do that a lot too. Turn the controls off when you mean to do something else. Don't sweat it. Okay, break off. Let's do a reverse. Try to go around that mud. That is definitely not our friend. And then we can just pull right down to the uh, trailer. get hung up there. Now I believe this is these two are the easier of the Wow, I do not want to extend my anchors. Oh my goodness. That is another big reason why you lock down your cargo, because if your trailer flips, um, you could dump the cargo, especially if it goes all the way over. But oh man, come on. Close enough. Lock her anchor down, go into crane mode, lift her up, oops, lift it up. I try to go just above the top of the trailer, because I really don't want to mess with this too much. Let's rotate our cargo. You may have to move it off of the box to get it to rotate properly. good. Bring it in. We, you can use the other box to sort of line it up too. Lower it down and we will disconnect. Return our crane to operation mode. Oops. And we're going to be here. Oh gosh. Let's see, now I've done that. Uh, when my wife and I were playing on Smithville Dam, there's uh, one of the things, one of the tasks you have to do is go out and collect um, oil barrels. And, oh, jeez. I spent so much time trying to get those dang oil barrels picked up, and I dumped my trailer like three times. It was one of the most frustrating points I've had in this game. I've never been so close to taking a controller and just jamming it into the screen. Not throw it, I mean, I'm talking like reach out and touch that screen through the controller. I was really irritated. Oh, man. I don't know where I got hung up there. Either way. Now our next one is a little bit more of a challenge. Or next two, I should say. Getting through these rocks is a nasty mess, too. I'm just going to winch out the hell of it. Attach winch, that side, that post. Brute force method. Oh, yeah, right there, right in front of the rear tire. Look at that big guy. God dang. Okay. So our next run is this road right here. Let's get the trailer down on something flat. Activate the anchor. No, 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 don't activate the anchor. What am I doing? Detach the trailer. Blood sugar problem, I don't know. I'm not thinking right. <laughs> Way more concerned about getting this task done and not fouling it up. Okay, so future me here. This is prophetic statement number one. Oh my goodness. Alright, what am I hung up on? See, I told you these rocks are horrendous. Oh god!
Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. All right, so I guess this gives me the opportunity to illustrate how to use the crane to pull the stinking trailer back. So just like using a winch, choose your point I like that one. Hit. Hopefully, get this truck over. There we go. Restore the crane. Let's see if I can do this without knocking it over again. Oh man, it's right on my tire. There we go. Tell you what I'm gonna do. This is not the path. Oh, we'll get there. That's the path. Oh. Alright. Activate anchor. This could be a mistake too. Go into crane mode. Attach twice. Track the boom arm. Swing the boom arm. And lower. Alright, close enough. Alright. Kind of dark in here. Let's lighten it, light it up a little. I kind of knew that was gonna, gonna happen. Hmm. Okay. Put the brake on. Activate the anchor. On a crane mode. Lift it. Oops, wrong way. Extend that boom arm out a bit. Lower. Oh no. Oh no. Put that up some. This is real fidgety. There we go. Let's pull the boom arm back a bit. We'll rotate it. Goodness, what are you doing, dude? Okay. 
That's one. <laughs> in the dark, but... And yet, another reason why you want to have a fuel thing around here. Oh man, that pole's gonna make things a nightmare. Just an absolute nightmare. This box is also upside down. You can tell because the dot is underneath when you look at that angle. Those boxes are both upside down. So that's going to make things fun. Come on, Crane. I can't believe that let me pick that up like that. That's crazy. Alright, retract the boom arm. Turn the boom arm. That's the other thing that's a little weird. Your perspective is all skewed. And you're working backwards like this. Okay, activate anchor. Yeah, it's not like he even had a load. Oh, I was just trying to get the stupid truck pulled around. Man, so irritating. I have knocked over the trailer with the crane. I have knocked over the trailer with the truck, just like I did. Um, I have not set the trailer properly, and it fell over all on its own, which was irritating, to say the least. So every which way you can think to screw this up, I've done it. Uh, literally, I've done it. Crane mode, please. Oh no. No, 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 no. We need. Hold on. We need to set our anchors, don't we? Last thing I need is the truck tipping over, and then we knock over the trailer too. That would just. Oh my God, that would just be horrendous. Okay. Extend the boom. Pig, aren't you? See, it wants to flip back over. Let's see if I can rotate it. Not really. Alright, that's gonna have to do for now. Sloppy, but it will get the job done. Mm -hmm. Restore crane. No, because that's the rock that caused the whole problem in the first place. I'm just trying to avoid that rock anyway. There. Now, once I get the third the third box loaded, I'll attach, and then uh, pack the card. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, such a pain. Hope I'm not too far. I might be. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, so that guy's as far out as we're gonna get it. Take the break off. This is really not good for the anchors, but they'll still do their job. If you do get nervous, you can always 
activate him and or deactivate him and then reactivate him. Okay. Now we're golden. Track that, put it right in the tic center of the tic tac toe. And lower. And attach. Okay. Lift carefully. Retract the loom arm so we don't whack everything. So I guess the the moral of this thing is go slow with the crane. It'll do the job. But oh my god, is it a pain? Oh my god. Alright. Activate anchor. Now we're gonna have to avoid that big rock again. Set us up for a pretty decent load. God. If I don't overdo things. Okay. Park and brake on. Activate anchor. Take side view and lift. Oh, get in the crane mode. Side view. Lift. I'm going to try to clear the top of that box as much as possible. Extend our boom. Rotate. Won't let us. Okay, that's fine. Lower it into the back. See, it's wanting to flip. And that's fine. We'll let it flip. Before I release, I'm going to take up the slack on the winch line. That's the triangle. Lift a little bit. Now we ought to be able to rotate. Okay. Track the boom arm of here. not bad. Oh, release. Restore the crane. Park and brake off. Careful, careful, careful. Don't be in a hurry. Been all day. We're only 38 minutes into the recording. You only got one box to go. Don't screw this up. Don't screw this up. No, don't. Okay. Enough of that. Alright, crush your fingers. Attach trailer. Okay. Pack cargo. Oh. Well, I didn't really help myself there, did I? No worries. Let's get this guy out of the way of that rock, so that rock isn't a problem anymore. This should be good. Detached trim. Now I just gotta go get that last little box. I gotta just turn my phone off when uh, I'm recording. It gets my attention, and I, I don't need anything else detracting from, <laughs> from my attention right now. That is for sure. Okay, so once you come down this path, then you want to make a right. It's it's gooey in a couple of spots, but nothing that we have to really worry too much about. How did I get screwed up here? Hang on. Did I miss. Oh, 
How did I get screwed up? Oh, there's a, a sharp... Yeah. That's why I didn't want to do this in the dark, too. I'm not going to advance the clock, though, by God. If I foul this up, I'm going to fix it. We're not going to get more light. We're just going to have to deal with it. right there. I drove right past the dang thing. If you drop your cargo, which I have also done screwing around, it ends up way down at the bottom there. And that's not what I wanted to do, but oh well. Now, my wife actually managed to cruise this whole upper section to come around and help me fix a box. And then the dang thing glitched on us. She went to all that trouble and did a really amazing job of driving. And the dang task glitched on us. And uh, we had to restart the whole task over again. And, oh my god, we were both so irritated about that. Not even funny. Alright, attach. So, bear that in mind too. That can really hold you up. Take up our slack. the uh <laughs> double tap the X and that released don't want to release don't want to release pull the anchors up man if I'd have hit that big climb that we're about to do that box would have come rolling right out and that would have been the end of that I would have seen a grown man cry live on camera not kidding not kidding even a bit. We're not out of these woods yet. We still got quite a ways to, quite a, quite a few things that could go wrong. But uh, the three of them on the on the trailer were we're doing pretty good. a problem for me. That's always positive. Let's park away enough where I'm not going to bash things too bad. Activate the anchor. And off to crane mode we go. Lift. Come on, get screwing on me now. I get nervous when I see those things jumping around. Rotate. I'm going to try to thread the needle here. Extend that boom arm just a bit. Just 
Just gotta pack the cargo now. Then we have to U-turn. That's gonna be fun. Expect jackknife. Now, if your truck rolls with a trailer, with cargo, the cargo is coming out. I'm back. Prophetic statement number two. So then you have to fix the truck. You have to pull the trailer back up and you have to reload the cargo. Oh, wow, that box moved around a lot. Okay. <laughs> get too far down in that ditch. Oh, freaking hell. Why did I say something? I should I should have just shut up. If I'd mm -hmm. shut up, if I'd closed my flipping mouth. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm going to have to rescue. I'm going to have to rescue this thing. That's really a bummer. That's really a bummer. Okay. I'm going to need the Navistar at the factory anyway, and I'm just going to drive it over anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video for right now, and I'm going to drive over to the Navistar. I'm going to bring that back to us. Use the Navistar to pull everything, to pull the truck back up right, and the trailer. Then I'll have to reload everything, and then we'll get up to the factory. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. Oh, that is very frustrating, man. That is so very frustrating. So, I didn't expect this to be a two-parter, but it looks like it's going to be. Um, I can't believe I said something. I should have just kept my mouth shut. Oh my God, what was I thinking? Mm. Oh well, that's part of the beauty and charm of this game, kids. Period. End of story. Thank you for watching this one. Uh, I do apologize. I do apologize. It's going to be a two-parter, but uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, at least I'm illustrating what not to do, right? There you go. Thanks again for watching. Uh, hit the links down below, or hit the comments down below. Let me know what you think of this one. Let me know uh, what you do. That would be nice because clearly I need need a little tutelage. Um, you can also hit me up on Facebook. Uh, I'll put the link down below in the description. Any comments, concerns, questions, complaints, please feel free to lodge in either position. If not both, I check both regularly. I'll go ahead and catch you on part two. Thanks for watching.